In this video, I will introduce some of the mobile user interface design features in an exciting new product called Maqueta. To create a new mobile user interface, I go to the New menu, choose HTML file, and then I choose a composition type of a mobile device, in this case an iPhone. I click Create, and up comes the Maqueta Visual Page Editor inside of a life-size replica of the target device. At this point, I drag and drop widgets. I'll drag and drop three widgets, a View widget, a Heading widget, and a Round Rect List widget. And now the first screen of my application is done. To create a second screen, I'm going to drag a second view widget onto the page. Now watch what happens when I let up on the mouse. So if I go to the outline palette, you see we now have two view widgets. The first view is now hidden, the eyeball is off, and the second view is now visible, the eyeball is on. That's my second screen. So now I'm going to populate my second screen. I'll add a heading. This is my alert screen. And then I'm going to put in an HTML uh, element here, a div, and put in some text in it. And do a little bit of CSS styling here on that. I'm going to set the margin to a value. And now my second screen is, is complete. So now back, uh, I'm, now I'll make my application interactive. I'm going to uh, choose the first item here and make it so that when you press on that item, it'll slide to the second view. So I go to the Move To property on this Alerts item, give the name of the second view, which was View 1 here, hit Enter, and I'll watch what happens. An arrow appears showing that this item has been wired for interactivity. So now I'm going to do the interactivity in the other direction. I'm going to wire it so that when I uh, I'm in the second screen, I can go back to the first screen by choosing the heading, defining a back button, a back arrow that appears on the heading, and then setting its move to property to be the name of the first view, which is view zero. I hit enter, and now the interactivity is there. Go back to my first view, and I can try out my application now. I click preview in browser, and that brings up the um, same device silhouette, runtime silhouette, as we saw in the page editor, but now the application is live at response to events. I can try out my application in landscape versus portrait, and I can try different devices. Now initially, I chose iPhone, so the application is styled with native iPhone look and feel, but if I switch to Android, what Dojo and Maqueta are doing is dynamically substituting CSS style sheets such that you now have a, an Android uh, native look and feel, and the application is still running. Okay, so now back to the uh, page editor. So let's say that my company uh, has its own visual styling standards for mobile applications where we, they don't want the native look and feel, they want a custom look and feel that represents the company's brand. So to address that need, Maqueta provides a mobile theme editor. So I, I'm going to address that by creating a new mobile theme by using the new theme command. I'm going to clone one of the existing themes, in this case, Dojo's custom theme, a generic theme that, that is available. And I'm going to create a thing called My Mobile Theme. And there I click OK, and this brings up the Maqueta Mobile Theme Editor, in which I can uh, customize the styling of all the various widgets and, uh, and basically any CSS property on any widget. So, But in this case here, I'm just going to do a quick demo and changing some backgrounds. So. Um, in, uh, let's say my company has a green uh, styling standards or green uh, visual styling standards where mobile applications should have a light green background and various UI elements have been standardized to have a darker green. So I'm going to go and use the mobile theme editor here to go do some quick visual uh, restyling of some of the uh, widgets. And as you can see, it's done global changes across the whole widget set. Click Save. Go back here to my mobile application. You see it's still using the native styling, but I can switch over to my this new theme by clicking on the switch theme icon. And then where it says what theme to use for mobile phones, I pick instead of device specific, I'll pick my mobile theme, click OK. And now my application has been restyled. I can try out the previewer, and I see you see that in preview mode, it's a live application with my company's visual styling standards in, uh, inside. So now uh, that pretty much uh, completes this, uh, this demo. At this point here, typically I would share my application with my colleagues using Maqueda's web-based review commenting feature, collect feedback, 
finalize the design, and then hand off the design to my development team using the source code, as you see below, that Maqueda generates, who then could incrementally transform that into a production application.